Welcome back everybody, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is more of the Doom 64 100% walkthrough for the PC. Played through Steam on the Watch Me Die difficulty setting. This is Map 8, Final Outpost. Let's have our chain gun ready when we press the switch, because we have a large number of zombie men encircling us. Grab their pistol clips. And it's a dance party with all of these lights, except there's one that doesn't have a light on, on the floor. If you step on it, it will lower down the lift, allowing you to escape. Now from here, there's the exit teleporter right in front of our face. Now from here, I like to snipe off the nightmare imps who are down below. It makes the final room a little bit easier. There should be one more. He's probably on the far left. Yep, there he is. We'll just hug the right here to trick him into coming this way. But yes, there's the exit teleporter. It's... It's teasing us. We can't exit just yet. That's okay. We'll kick some demon butt until then. On our way to the chain gun, let's have our chain gun ready when we lower in the floor to kill more zombie men. When the zombie men are dead, stairs will rise to your left and right. I take the right one to grab the shotgun shells, but you can take either one of the two staircases. Grab the chain gun. To the left of the chain gun is a secret with a hallway of lost souls. These ass souls, they need to die. When you press the switch, you want to run backwards because in the alcove to your right are a couple more lost souls that will get you in the back. Speaking of back, we have a backpack. On your left, we also have a, a chainsaw. I like the lore of this chainsaw because it looks like it has already done its job by cutting open the gate. There's a medikit here, and 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 a rocket, and and oh, also light amplification goggles. Oh, they're so bright it hurts my eyes. Now press the switch and it will open up a wall behind the medikit, allowing you to go through and raise the wall to get out of here. Now from here, once again, I like sniping off the enemies, the imp by the red door, and also a lost soul who's down below. Have our super shotgun ready when you press the switch for some nightmare imps that will open up on the left. Ooh, that was deliciousness. Beautiful. Sensual. Press the next switch to lower down the first switch so we can go past it to the blue door that we can't go through yet. But it will spawn a number of nightmare imps down the hallway. Grab the super shotgun of this level, and that will also reshape the hallway slightly and reveal more nightmare imps for us to kill on our way back. Now, yes, Blue Door can't get through there yet, but this teleporter has lowered down. Let's have our chain gun ready for some lost souls. I think he's dead. We'll grab the blue key from the alcove and then drop in the water. Where this blood splatter is, that's your second secret with a mega armor inside. That's all the secrets of this map. Step off and take the teleporter. 
We now have the blue key, so let's go through the blue door, where we see the red key. But we can't grab it yet. Now this is a maze. There are six armor bonuses in the maze. You can grab them at any point if you wish, but I'd like to do it right now. Let's hug the left wall. There's one. Two. We'll be back to this switch, by the way. Three. Four. We'll be back to this switch once it becomes accessible, by the way. There's the rocket launcher of this level. And we get taken back to where we were. The fifth and sixth armor bonus is in the center near some islands. Here's five and six. Now we can go find that switch on the island. And be ready for a large number of imps to spawn in all around you. But the super shotgun is your best friend. There's also a shotgunner and another imp that have spawned. Yeah, your super shotgun is your best friend. It will do you no wrong. Now the switch that I said we come back to once it's accessible is now accessible. I hide in the alcove with the switch because a large number of shotgunners will spawn and I like peekaboo shooting them to death. Peekaboo! They love the game. Obviously, they come for more. Yeah, there's also a nasty Baron in here, but nothing your rocket launcher can't fix. Now, what that switch did is it opened up the back side of the red key. We have to find it. Right here revealing some rockets and the switch that will lower down the red key. Now when you grab the red key it will do two things. It will open up the Hell Knight with the rockets but it will also reveal a switch beyond the blue door right here. But first let's go back in the teleporter and grab the berserk where the blue key was. Step on the ledge to lower the teleporter. And now we'll flip the switch, go back through the teleporter, and ride up the lift if we can make it in time. We'll kill the Hell Knight. We won't go straight ahead just yet. We'll go to the left to the optional red door. Yeah, the red key is completely optional. But what's interesting, you need to grab the red key in order to reveal the switch that's required to progress. So the red key is required, kind of. At least the spot where the blue where the red key resides on is required to step on. <laughs> Which then in turn gives you the red key. But yes, this red door is optional. It does have a plasma gun if you don't already have one. Or if you do have one, it's still nice to have because, well, more plasma. And there it is. When you press the switch, it will teleport the plasma gun to the top of any one of these eight pillars. All the switches do the exact same thing. They lower down their respective pillar. But the catch is, you can only lower down two of the pillars, and then you don't get a plasma gun if you don't guess correctly. And another catch is, it's randomized. Every single playthrough, the plasma gun is in a different spot in the pillar. Luckily, they give you this monitor. So let's look at it. 
It's a top view of the eight pillars that will show you where the plasma gun is residing. Now yes, the plasma gun is not teleporting, it's just the camera angle is changing. So the plasma gun is in a corner somewhere. We don't know which corner. It could be any one of these four corners. Like I said, you can only lower down two of the pillars and then you can't lower down any more. We need a reference point. The reference point in question is going to be lowering down the center pillar right here. This did not contain the plasma gun, but rather, it's a reference. As we can see now, this is our reference that we saw on the, in the monitor. And it looks like, trying to get the hole to appear on the far left side here. There we go. It looks like it's in the top left right here. And there we go. As long as you consistently have this reference point, you should be able to tell exactly where the plasma gun is in relation to any one of these eight pillars. Thanks to uh, Sam Wilson of YouTube, actually, for telling me what I... what pillar is the best one to lower down. Now that that's done, we can go back and follow the hallway down. We'll skip this door. Keep mind of this symbol, by the way. We'll be back to it. Here's the yellow door that we can't go through, and a supercharge that we will grab later. So now about the door. Let's take care of the lost souls with the chain gun on the other side. And there's the yellow key, raised up on the pillar that we can't lower down. Facing the door, there's a switch on the right and a switch on the left. Step in the alcove on the right, and it will lower down bars. Press the switch, and it will lower down the yellow key. Notice the symbol that the yellow key sits on. The left alcove will raise up the yellow key, and the switch will raise up the bars. So what's the solution? The solution is not in this room. You have to go back and press the symbol that the yellow key sits on, and then you can grab the yellow key. Kind of cryptic and a little bit stupid, if you ask me, but that's the way it works. Now we'll go through the yellow... Wait, let's grab the supercharge. Let's have our Unmaker ready for a Tight Quarters Baron. No one likes Tight Quarters Barons. Let alone Doom Guy. That's never a good thing. Through the yellow door, let's kill the rest of the Nightmare Imps that we couldn't snipe from before. I swear, this shotgun is the best sniper rifle. It's better than most sniper rifles in video games. The rule of thumb with this last room before the exit teleporter is you don't want to fall in the abyss below. There is no way back up. So what I do, is I go halfway down, and then retrace my steps, plowing through the Hell Knight, going back through the yellow door, and using the yellow door area as my hold point, as I unmaker the first two barons in front of me. Since the unmaker is a hit scan weapon, as long as you're aiming at the baron, you won't miss. Sometimes you can get the Hell Knight 
to infight with the barons, and in, it looks like that's the case, but the Hell Knight has not been hit yet. Maybe we can try and get that to happen. There we go. Nice distraction while I take care of the other Baron. Where are you going? Oh no, please don't tell me it's like gonna be the same thing like in Golden Souls where they... There we go. It's not. Yeah, Hell Knight, he's that way. Let's go. Push. Push. Dang that Hell Knight butt. Anyway, let's take care of the other Baron there. Oh, yes. You can watch two hunks of meat going at it. Obviously, the Baron will win because he has double the health of a Hell Knight. But it is nice to see. A cat fight amongst two muscle bounds. I don't know. The Hell Knight is moving. The Baron is missing sometimes. Yep, he won. But not by much, he almost had him dead. Now once everybody is dead, a bridge will rise and stairs will rise to the exit teleporter, but keep following the pathway down to a large energy cell pack. You don't want to miss it. Like I said, carefully cross the bridge. There's no way back up if you fall. And we are done. That was Final Outpost. This map... The dominant focal point of this map is obviously, well, the starting room with all of the zombie men. If you're doing it from a pistol start, it can be rather treacherous. They do give you a shotgun in the starting room, so it does help out a little bit, but not a whole lot, because you have no armor as well. The next focal point is, obviously, the two puzzles in this map. You have the plasma rifle puzzle, which, obviously, the monitor does help, as well as having a reference point by lowering down a pillar to get that reference point for the monitor. And then you can easily be able to grab the plasma gun. Like I said, if you don't, if you lower down the second pillar and you still don't have a plasma gun, you're not getting it. Plain and simple. Even simpler, that's what's next. <laughs> the second puzzle is the yellow key. Though it's not really a puzzle. All you gotta do is press the symbol. The same symbol that the yellow key sits on and you can get it. Just make sure that the bars are raised up on the yellow key by walking in an alcove to either, you know, to raise it up. I don't know why they thought including those switches in the yellow key room was a good idea because it makes you think that the solution is in the yellow key room. When it's not, it's the symbol. Anyways, that was Final Outpost. This is the last of the tech-based maps for a while. We are now entering into the Hell Levels. Next is Even Simpler. But first we have a story. You cackle as the familiarity of the situation occurs to you. The gateway to the demon's domain was too accessible. You realize the demons mock you with their invitation. It does not matter. The demons spawn like rats, and you have the grade AAA UAC poison they crave. Your bloodthirsty scream shatters the teleport haze. Once again, you find yourself amidst... 
hell. The red sky gives it away. We are now in hell, everybody. I'll see you guys in more Doom 64. So until then, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I'll see you in hell. Take care, everybody.